500,000 people cannot pack the downtown area this year for the Columbus Arts Festival because of coronavirus, of course. Instead, organizers hope that you'll go online. Art often lends an outlet during difficult times. And as NBC4's Hattie Hawks reports, the time has never been more important to express yourself. Uh, this has been a year of um, responding to the needs and, the, um, and what's been happening in our communities. From a global pandemic to protests of racial injustice, the Greater Columbus Arts Council has had a lot to say through the power of the paintbrush. I think a lot of artists are finding that they need to speak out and that they need to say something, um, especially with the Black Lives Matter. Cardboard covered windows now act as murals, the kind of work that got Maureen into the art business. I just, I would like to put something that um, out there that is beautiful and um, colorful and makes people happy. This year, the Arts Festival, which celebrates just that, will not be downtown. Instead, it'll be online because of the coronavirus concerns. You can shop artists from around the country, enjoy musical performances, and share past memories. We're hoping to provide people uh, a place to connect, folks who are going to be very much missing our downtown festivals uh, and the arts festival this year. For already struggling artists, it's an opportunity to make a living. When uh, the lockdown happened with um, the virus, um, a lot of people kind of pulled back on commissions, which is understandable. Even though they can still connect, nothing compares to the in-person festival kind of feel. People are very sad. We're sad. This is our family. And just the whole, the whole environment of it. And since half a million people can't come together in person, they're hoping you'll visit online. Go online and shop for some art. <laughs> Local for you, Hattie Hawks, NBC4.